Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, you guys. So, a few weeks ago, I got this from, from Google. It's basically a GD certificate slash plaque. If you look right here, you can see my name, Festa Sobishagun. Um, so I posted this on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, yeah, I think those, those are the only places I posted this. And um, I got a bunch of comments and DMs asking me, oh, GD, how can we become a GD? How can I get this certificate? So um, that's what inspired me to create this video, to record this video. And I'll just basically be trying to answer that question, talk about the GD program, how to become a GD, the process, the benefits, etc. Yeah, let's get started. So, who is the GDE? Well, GDE stands for Google Developer Experts. A GDE is someone who is recognized by Google as being an expert uh, in a Google Developer's uh, technology. And uh, as a GDE, you are basically an ambassador for that particular technology. And, you, and uh, the duty of a GDE is to basically evangelize, you know, post on social media, go to conferences and talk about the technology, write blog posts, YouTube videos, or also it could be Udemy tutorials, basically creates a bunch of content around this, um, this particular technology. And technology could be Android, Angular, you know, Dart slash Flutter, uh, there's Firebase, there is G Suite, uh, I think it's renamed as Google Workspace. To Google Workspace, there's a uh, machine learning which is TensorFlow, and um, there is Maps, there is a uh, Google Cloud, there is Google Assistant, and a bunch of other ones. So how how can one become a GDE? Right. Um, the process is actually not difficult. It's quite straightforward. The GDE program is a referral only program. So to become a GDE, you need to be referred by either an ex existing GDE or a Googler. Google is someone that works at Google. So if you want to become a GDE and you're interested, you need to reach out to a GDE, someone with a GDE, uh, and, uh, or you can reach out to someone with a Googler. The best, way, the best way to meet these people is by attending events. So if you attend Google events, uh, GD, GDG events, or maybe uh, Flutter events for you know, Flutter, Flutter folks, or some other events, you can meet these GDEs or Google as they and uh, you can try you know, having a conversation uh, with them to see if you are fit for the GDE program. So <clears throat> after after having this conversation with this with GDE or this Googler, what's next? Well, there are three things, there are three processes to go through. Uh, and the first is the application process. And after you get the referral, uh, you get the referral link. You apply after you get the link, you apply basically, you know, you fill in your information, your your past, the actually the things you've done in the past year, basically the content you've created around that technology in the past year. And um, after that, you know, you submit after you fill the form and um, you wait till you get an email, you get a feedback from the GD team. So if after this process you do not get an email, then um, then it means your application has failed and you should probably try again later. But if you get a successful an email that your application was successful, yeah, um, you're going to the next round, which is uh, the community interview. So the community interview is basically carried out Bruh. by an existing GD in that particular field. So if you are like a for, for me now, a Flutter GD, I was interviewed by another Flutter GD. And um, uh, it's, it's basically around, you know, how you contribute to the community. So it's not something that you can prepare for. It's not something that you have to go and prepare for. Uh, it's just something that, you know, it's about you, right? So you should be able to answer the questions quite easily. After that, you probably get an email if, uh, if your application has failed, if you are going to the next round, or if you're not considered to be going to, 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 be going to the next round. If you're going to the next round, the next round is basically the product interview. So the product interview is carried out by a Googler. Uh, someone that works at Google in that particular technology. Uh, for me, again, as a Flutter GD, I was interviewed by someone from the Flutter team. The interview is just around Flutter itself. Uh, don't worry, it's not a job interview, so you don't need to uh, prepare or anything like that. It's just it's just like a conversation. Right? It's just like a conversation. It's just, uh, just, they just want to, the Googler just wants to know 
if you are actually an expert in this particular field. So after that interview, you probably get an email that, hey, congratulations, I got to the GDA family. Now, what are some of the details and benefits of being a GDA? So I'm going to start with the details first. Well, being a GDA is not a job, but then there are still some things that are expected of you. Uh, the GDA program is renewed yearly. So as long as you keep being an active member of the GDA program, you're going to get your membership renewed the next year. So how, what defines an active GDA? What and what do you need to do to be considered an active GDA? Well, <clears throat> first you need to create content around um, around technology. I mean, it's not, it's not uh, necessary, but these are just some of the things that you can choose from. Creating content, you know, writing uh, article, writing articles, creating um, video tutorials on YouTube, Udemy, wherever you can. Um, open source is also a, a, a good thing. Um, there is also, uh, I mean, the most important one here is speaking at events. So as a GD, you are expected to speak at you know, different events from the local, from your local um, Google related events to you know, the ones that are happening in your region, like your continent. And um, the benefits, some of the benefits uh, of being a GDE, I think the major benefits for me personally is the travel benefits. So as a GDE, Google uh, is going to sponsor your trip uh, if you decide to go and speak in another country that is in your region, right? So that is the major benefit for me. GDEs do not get paid <laughs> because I get asked that question a lot. And uh, the, the answer to that is that GDEs do not get paid. It is not a job, like I said before. Uh, it is more of a recognition. And um, personally, my experience so far being a GDE has been awesome because ever since I became a GDE, I've been doing uh, more of a public speaking. You know, I go to different communities to speak, to talk about Flutter. Could be, uh, sometimes it could be a workshop. And that has been great because, I, like I said, I have to, I, I get to go to different communities, you know, mix with different people. You know, it's basically some pretty good exposure right there. And um, I feel like one other thing I forgot to mention as part of the benefits of being is the fact that you, sometimes you get early access to, to new features and even new technologies you that what? we are releasing. Well, if you're going to become a GD, I 100% recommend. Uh, whenever you feel like you're ready, you can reach out to either a GD or a Googler and start your journey. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. I think that completes my video. If you like, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something from it, please consider pressing the like button and also subscribe Bruh. to the channel. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section and uh, see you next time.